So, um, Moretta Dan, sunset. I'm going to try and take you on a little bit of a walk, but it's going to be dark. So, DW's truck and the rusty Dodge. And uh, I'm trying to hold a laptop here, so uh, bear with me with the picture. So, nice little house. This little tractor in the field there, tilling up the, the tilling up the stuff. Hey Jake, how you doing, buddy? Waiting for Pa. Waiting for Ma. Hey, you waiting for Pa? So, nice place and solar powered. Tomos. Wayne's Tomos on the road, and uh, I went for a little bit of a ride on the Peugeot. Works great, but uh, those farm roads, you gotta watch out for it. Kind of mucked up the pedal a little bit. She got a little bend in it now. So, so yeah, that's the, that, there you go, George. That's the, the solar setup. And get it in a little more light maybe tomorrow. And the house. And uh, temporary camp while the house was getting done. I've been collecting a bunch of rocks today. We've got a couple nice keystones for the path here. Can I see the lean to progress there? How's it going? Good, how you doing? Not too bad, we're just gonna go do some short wave on the FRG here. The frog. Refusing to do so. And former CIA officer Jeffrey Sterling has been sentenced to 42 months. I forgot my coax. So, just running off a little bit of speaker wire here tonight until my maybe, maybe find some more wire out here.
cut some of this out. Princess Auto, $16 saw. Uh, got most of the way through these guys, but fast is too heavy to lift up by myself, so. Uh, cut that guy out. Cut this guy out. This guy out. So. We're getting to be about halfway to the slough. Getting a nice path going. And cl clean up the sides and make a nice path out of it. Get all this stuff burnt. I think what I was going to finish working on right now, I'm taking some of these bigger logs here. I'm going to take this one right here. Mm, this one. And uh, put it up beside this one here. Just uh, kind of temporary stuff. It's just This is kind of pain to get up and down, especially for anybody with disabilities or anything like that so I'm gonna put up another one maybe put some pallet planks down with some lifts on them to hold your feet better and maybe a couple railings so right DW you're still out eh jeez what a guy Set the right position here first. Get totally blinded right now. Stick out of here. I can hurt him. Snoozer. What are you doing over there, D-Dub? What are you doing over there? You can up my bed, right? You are. Okay, so um, working with the laptop here. I'm gonna try and do it like this, maybe. Yeah, it's all backwards. Okay, down is down, but uh, there we go. That's a little backwards. So we picked up the Mountain Man grill. Pretty pricey, one seventy four ninety nine at uh, Wholesale Sports, but uh, Wholesale Liquidators has a eighty dollar uh, post grill like this, single grill, 
Uh, this one has these two and this uh, charcoal charcoal holder thingy so you can uh, do uh, briquettes as well. So the extra money going into three was worth it to me and uh, a couple people pitched in here to make this all happen so gonna, gonna work on this a little better. There we go. So basically I've had a few fires today. Uh, there is no fire ban in this area. Um, got the the grill and the, we'll call it a skillet for now I guess. It's probably a real real term for that but uh, it's not coming to me right now. But uh, got them basically soaked in ashes. Uh, they come kind of they're oily. Uh, oily. Uh, I guess same thing you do with cast iron, just uh, kind of like a cooking oil and then soak it in the fire or in the ashes. So doing up another bunch of ashes to do the uh, to do that guy. And the lean to kind of crashed, so did a little bit of work to that. Uh, I'm probably going to close down this this side here and here's the, the ram it's kind of mudded up here it's actually gone pretty hard now so. and this started the TV and Jake chilling away from the fire it's too freaking hot how you doing bud so that's camp for right now I got the, the solar panel up and then I was using a bunch of power. Oh, my poor Icom's getting ashy. Icom and the A2 and the batteries now. And, uh, 12 point, maybe 12.6 volts. Not great, but uh, the panel wasn't out all day. The back's feeling a little bit better today. Um, I don't know if I've done anything to it. You know, I haven't, it hasn't really bothered me too much today. I haven't tried to do anything too strenuous, but I've done a fair amount of work. So, gonna sit and break up these guys, get them into coals, and throw this last piece of the new grill. I'll uh, get it all together, and then we can. Uh, you were brush down. Have some hot dogs or hamburgers. I think we got some burgers to go. So. The camp's looking like there's all the old lean two pieces. It was just too much and not built very well. And it's still kind of half-assed, but holding up. We're getting some wind and no creaking like it was before. Uh, today on the radio, there's a bunch of. Uh, bunch of uh, US, U.S. ships, they were at uh, museums generally, and a uh, bunch of hams down doing commemorations of the ships and that kind of stuff, so I was kind of neat to listen to. And Dan and Landon doing a bunch of work. And I cleaned out a bunch in behind the lane too, here too. so I could get in behind there, except for the, the little trees and stuff that we got coming up. Yeah, needs a bunch of work, but good enough for tonight, not expecting any rain. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. There she be. What are you doing, Jake? Having a good snooze? Oh, you scared? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. What are you doing? What do you got? More elk? What do you got? Ah, just a munching away. And I'll leave it alone. Alright, 
lights there. May have been a little bit crappy camera views there, but oh well. Well, that's right up over here. Me. Oh, right there. Good shot right here. A trade. Okay, we'll do this in a little more light. Hello. I'll be back in a few minutes. Before the, I'd let, lose more light. garden lights and the lean to fell over. So I'd be trying to rebuild a little. Um, probably gonna have it come straight down on the sides here instead of more house style but for now uh, I need to fill in the floor with something a little softer and uh, a little more level. And all the old wood. A little bit of clean up back here. I took a bunch of these kind of plants out to get some room in behind. And that's what I achieved. Uh, we have the new, new grill. And uh, Kitchen, kitchen dock works awesome. And path went all the way down, saw that moose earlier. And here is the teepee. Video earlier, didn't really have it there. Just a shot of the room. And the solar panel up on the lean to now. And that's the. Uh, I was on the radio all weekend. We're at 12.4 volts. And uh, we are power pulsing and charging. But, uh, that's the cracked panel. I had a. The glass was cracked. So let it sit out here and charge a couple old dead batteries. And it's enough to run the radio all weekend. It's good for me. Uh, yeah, and there's the pit. Put up uh, my solar lanterns there. Another one there, there, there. Yeah, that's the Mountain Man grill. Mountain Man. Still gotta get the hammock up, but find a way to mount it. Uh, so a cup holder. So, there's camp for now. Gotta take her easy.
Hey, GoPro, I don't think you're going to believe this. Back it. Back it. Rust bucket. We got a door. We even got keys for the door. Lie. Come down to camp with me. Always. Isn't it amazing? He's doing shit. Yo! Yo! Chopping up firewood! Yar! So, this is the puddles and the lean to. It's kind of half assed, you know, like usual. There's the solar panel up there and a couple batteries and stuffs and bear spray and frickin' fires and sky chopping woods and the cabin we just built and we're building. Still got a fair bit of free woods left. Uh, we got some paneling and more woods. It's my scrap pile. Put the step backs in. Have to work on that a little bit. Where are we bees? Uh, found out that our limit is 13 feet up there. So we are going to adjust the slope from 45 because that's just ridiculous as it, as it is. So that'll, right now I think I'm 13.2. So change the slope on the rafters and yeah, it sucks a little bit, but no worries. Just another day. New tools, testing new tools. Lovely, lovely tools. How's the sawzall? Sweet. We got all this. Well, the floor was here. And uh, got, the, got the walls in today. And maybe, uh, maybe a bit of a roof, but I don't think, I think I'm done for today. Do a little bit tomorrow and head home. Tarp her up and head home. And the ICOM's going off over there. And there's antenna all the way down the path over here. And then the other half of it's down into some fence down, a barbed wire fence down in the ground. And then there's a G5RV up there. It's getting quite the pile going here. Rockin', rockin'. The grill. Rockin' up all the wood, nice campfire. Progress of camp. Gotta do our <clears throat> June, June progress video. So, camp has been the main progress. Uh, there's $50 into that now. A uh, majority of it, uh, I had to buy the, the plywood, the good plywood that's out there was uh, seven and a half bucks a sheet. And that's, that's the cheapest plywood I could get. And uh, it'll just expand if it gets wet, so we gotta keep it dry. So we get everything all nice and sealed up. Uh, then uh, I grabbed three extra two by six by eights just to do the, the rafter ends. And just an extra because I figured we'd need one and we pretty much did, so. Old shitty country. But we get it good out here, so. Lots of other stuff we can pick up, but I mean, not a lot of it's English, so. 
And Dwayne's just going hard on the wood. It's awesome. Just running through the batteries. All right. It's a June update. We'll see you later. Yes and no. And uh, take you for another little tour here. More updates happening. A little fireworks party last night. Uh, bought some new tubules, some Milwaukee stuff, and uh, sawed out some of the roots here. So I got a few more to go. Not too bad though. Not poking you in the feet anymore. Added uh, a half assed handrail for now. So we rebuild this kind of staircase area clean two is pretty much as it stands and will pretty much stay that way until uh, until we take it down and uh redo this guy make it a little less steep and uh, i put the panels on the roof this morning um still got to do some roofing i didn't buy enough osb uh so a couple more sheets of that and we'll have a roof be able to tie back that up and finish it all so we got full house and zababa program going on it's got to be ukrainian some point in your life right so it's coming along uh it's getting a little dark in here but i added a little light in the roof and the icon going couple batteries going to the solar uh Dwayne came out last night, so added a little bunk here just for now. So I slept up there last night, and we took the floor. Lots of room for the both of us. Worked out pretty good, as far as I know. He headed out early and didn't wake me up, so that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, so mostly tie back. Uh, get a roof on there, get a door on there, get some siding on there, and We'll have a nice little ham shack. So, still a fair bit of leftover wood, but uh, Dan's probably gonna use some of that in the woodshed and that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's where we're at. A little uh, end of June, beginning of July update. Happy Canada Day, happy Independence Day, and uh, cheers. It's a good night. We'll leave you with a little bit of fireworks from last night.
So playing a little bit on the radio, kind of a break time at the moment, waiting for the heat to kind of die down. Uh, at which point I will start tackling ah the rest of the roof. Um, you see there, I've got a nice little, uh, well, it's hard to do with a laptop, um, nice little light bulb up there, and that runs over there, and then runs down to a switch. Sweet. We now have a switch. So, uh... And you can maybe hear it on the radio there. So I'm not sure if Ferret would help me there. Maybe somebody could tell me that. And here's the latest addition to uh, Trojan T105 REs. And sitting at 12.6 with the radio on, it kind of draws about 2 amps. I've got the backlight off, so maybe a little less, maybe 1.8, 1.9. It's a pig. Um, so yeah, get that going, light installed, and just waiting for it to cool down so I can put another couple panels on the roof. And then I need to do a couple triangles up top, cover it in Tyvek, and it's covered. Uh, with the heat today, I very much realized that I need a whirly bird or something on the roof, but they're like 60 bucks, so I'm going to have to check the recycle thing. Um, yeah, we're going to need some venting, that's for sure. Especially, it's, it was hot in here, even with no door, so. So yeah, we got the uh, radios going. It uh, all goes to this uh, socket up here. Uh, which was built by buyers. I got it at Princess Auto. Do not buy one if you just plan to use it as a, a three-way outlet. It has a supposedly has a 10 amp fuse in it. Uh, if it really does, it's not replaceable. Um, see if I can find it here. I actually do. I do have it right here. So usually, what you'll find in these things, if I can get it up on the camera here. Whoops. Dropping it all over the place. So, usually what you get in here is a plug like this, and on the center pin you usually get a fuse. So, here is the center pin. Now, if that is a 10 amp fuse, it's not replaceable. So, either way you look at it, it's not that, it's not worth your money. Because generally somebody stupid or plug something stupid into the thing, you blow the fuse and it's at this point it's dead. So don't do it. Uh, you have built in fuse usually in vehicles, that kind of stuff. Uh, this one I bought to tear apart and wire into some, uh, some bigger cable which runs over the battery. And now we have some ports that I can just plug the radios into and that's working awesome now. Um, don't have to mess with the batteries and mess with wires each time I come in. I just plunk the radius down and plug them in. So that's where I'm at. Uh, take a little bit of a outside view, maybe. It's hard to tell. I'm trying to work with the laptop here. And A little bit of a mess right now, but uh, a lot better than what it was. We'll get some of the wires cleaned up, sweeped up a bit. The building's not level, but the door's fitting pretty well, just uh, closed by itself, and the deadbolt works. So, we got a door, but uh, yeah, we've, uh, we need to level out this side a little bit, and uh, that'll come in time. 
stuff's been on pretty much all day. Sitting at 12.5. We are roofed. It's all Tyvek and taped on the top. I will probably do tar paper up there as well. And without the light, it's freaking dark. <laughs> So, sharing the room with some wood, got lots to go, and yes, it's a waste of wood. I got a lot of free wood from Home Depot, and yes, those are, it's one foot on center. I had a whole lot of free wood, uh, a bunch was moldy, and I uh, can't really see there, but thing of bleach in the corner it's uh, been sprayed down probably when I uh, get the rest of the panels on do one more spray let it sit for a week or two and just make sure all the mold is nice and killed but I sprayed down all the bad boards and all pretty much all the studs as they were going in they were all bad so sprayed them down really really well and hope all that's gone the other free wood was a little bit twisted and there's still piles of that, and some of that's in the floor. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we'll sweep all this up, but uh, basically throw down some plastic and then some plywood. And should have a half decent floor. So. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, Shep. You trapped? Are you trapped, buddy? What's up? What's up, Shep? Who do you hear? Who's that? What are you doing, buddy? You want out? You want to go out? And there you go. Wow, that LCD is really hard to read when it's so bright. Even on this one. Can hear you, Shep. Hmm. I don't know why it does this, but we just recorded a video with iMovie again, and didn't do nothing. It's too bright for you to see that. Uh, maritime mobile net, kind of trying to talk there. So here's the progress. We have the door installed. It. Uh, it opens, it closes, it latches, it deadbolts, it stops. Uh, we have a light switch, light switch installed. Lights go on and off. So we have the Trojan T105 REs, they are down to 12.4 volts. Uh, hopefully, the panels will refresh that. We have a roof in, we have sides. In. Hopefully, those yeah, those are visible, and it is. Here's all Tyvek. I moved the wood in behind, so we have a nice open area again. And I uh, did some pressure treated stuff on there. Not quite straight, but it'll beat what was the pallet boards that were there. So we're Tyveked up, and panels are connected again. They're gonna sit down here because they get a little bit better sun for now and uh yeah so 
that's the progress. Keep this bit a little shorter than what I recorded and failed to import. So there we go. Uh, a little bit of sweeping, cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, rearranged the rearranged the camp kit a little bit too. So there we go. A little bit closer, and now I don't have to have the tarp over it the whole time. So I have the tarp over the rest of the wood. Put my other tarps away. And yeah, time to clean up the radio and head home. Business to do.